So we're back here in Code Fights and we're going to be taking a look at the Check Palindrome algorithm. And what this wants us to do is basically take in a string, invert that string, and then compare the original string with the inverted string and return either true or false. So let's start off by explaining what a palindrome is. A palindrome is basically a word with a sequence of characters that read the same fo uh, forwards, forwards and backwards. So let me give you an example of, let's say, A, B, and A, right? So you read A, B, and A. And then backwards, that would be A, B, and A. So let's type it down again, backwards. <laughs> so A, B, A. Uh, same thing with, you know, uh, A, A, B, A, A. Backwards, A, A, B, A, A. Uh, let's say A, A, B, A, C. That wouldn't be a palindrome because of the C in the end. So it would spell as B, A, oh no, C, A, B, A, C, um, B, A. I'm sorry for the confusion. But that's basically what a palindrome is. So let's get to, let's get to solving the problem. So first off, we're going to say return. And then after that, we are going to add the input string. We're going to compare the input string to something else, to, to its reversed counterpart. So first part is going to be input string. And then we're going to have a strict equal sign because we want, we want it to be equal. And then we're going to say input string again. And then we're going to say dot splits, which is going to split the string by the, um, by the letter and then put it into an array. And then reverse is going to invert everything inside that string, every letter in that string, and then join is just like split, except it's going to be joining all the characters together. And then it's going to either return true or false when it gets compared to the, um, the input string that we have as the parameter. So if we run the tests, then we would get our answer. And let's look through the tests. So input string A, A, B, A, A. Output is true, expected output true. Test two, output false, expected output false for A, B, A, C. So that's pretty much it for this video, and I'll see you in the next. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, consider subscribing. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll have it in the link below. Thanks.